Ray from Fitness Together. Um, today I'm just going to discuss um, a common thing most people really don't put too much thought into, but um, water, just the, the topic of water and hydration. Um, it's common to think that all water is equal no matter how you get it. Um, that simply is not true. Um, and if, you, if you're a client of mine or you know, if I pass you in the studio and you ask me about it, you've probably heard me discuss um, rate of absorption and stuff like that or structure of water. Um, one thing that's key that, I, that I've noticed over the years is if I have somebody start incorporating vegetable juice in their diet, um, so that's just like fresh um, vegetables put in a juicer, so all, it do, all it's doing is extracting the pulp and um, dumping out the juice into a cup, like celery, carrots, kale, etc. Um, what I've seen with clients that do that for a period of say three to five days and they've never done that before, one, um, their energy levels usually increase right away, um, two, they usually pee a lot more, but that usually happens with water as well. And, but the biggest thing is their bowel movements increase um, naturally. So what's that, what that tells me is, one, I already know like the, the large um, colon actually needs a, enough fluid to stay hydrated. Um, so if you're drinking a ton of water and your bowel movements stay the same, but then when you start introducing um, vegetable juice and they actually increase, to me that means you're absorbing the water or, or the fluid a lot more. Um, the other thing is a lot of people or most people don't think about the human body in terms of conductivity. Um, so if you think about it, we're kind of like a battery. Um, so our, our hearts are beating, but no one's really, I guess, helping us um, keep our heart beating, right? So the question is what, what energy source is providing that and what keeps it going, right? So if I'm just standing here, my heart's going to continuously beat. Even if I hold my breath, it's still gonna beat, right? So to keep that going, the body actually needs vitamins and minerals for conductivity. Regular water, like tap water um, and filtered water is actually stripped of everything. So you're, you're removing all the minerals and stuff like that. And that, that's good because our, again, our, our environment is, um, does have toxins that you wanna remove. Um, and even the water supply has some stuff that's not so good for us. But um, the point is you should be, or ideally it's best to kind of restructure your water with something. Um, so what do you use? With, with, um, with uh, Amy and I actually prefer in the morning we use lemon a lot. So lemon has vitamin C, it's very alkalizing, um, and it's got other vitamins and minerals as well. And that'll kind of restructure the water as well so you can absorb it better. Um, the second way is using a greens powder. Um, so those like amazing grasses, vitamin mineral green, renewal greens, um, we use those a lot and it, those are mineral, minerally dense because they're uh, basically vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. So if you add that to water, that'll do the trick as well. Um, the last thing you can use um, is just adding a little bit of sea salt. Um, and I've done, you know, I've done this test with multiple clients before. Some of you probably remember me um, showing it to you, but if you take a cup of water um, or one cup of filtered water and one cup of water and you add a pinch of sea salt to one of them and let it dissolve and then drink the filtered water versus the water with dissolved salt into it, you're actually going to feel a much um, softer feel on your palate um, and that's because the, the salt water is restructured to a point where it, it'll be absorbed better by your cells. Um, so that's one other way. And then the last thing I want to leave you with, because a lot of people, I guess everyone, I know everyone doesn't think this way, um, but in terms of conductivity, you can actually test this yourself. Um, you know, for instance, the, um, there's a, uh, like a lot of movies you see when people put electricity in the water that, you know, that's making an assumption that water is, uh, will conduct electricity well, right? Well, you can actually do an experiment yourself, and there, there's all sorts of YouTube videos. You can Google uh, Dr. Robert Kassar light bulb experiment. He actually does it on video. But basically, if you take a battery and a light bulb, and you put a cup of water in between with the wi two wires coming from the battery, and then two wires coming from the bulb, and then you put them in the water, if water is in fact conductive enough, the light bulb should light up. However, that does not happen if you use tap water or any sort of filtered water. 
Now what does happen if you put the wires in the water and you add a little bit of sea salt to it and you keep adding it just a tiny bit at a time, you start seeing the bulb light up. So that's a good analogy to think about um, when you're drinking water and, and trying to, I guess, put into perspective that we do need minerals and, and we are conductive beings and um, we are electrical and do need minerals for everything to function properly. Um, that's pretty much all I had to say on uh, water. If you have any questions, just post them down below. Um, otherwise, we will see you in the next video. Okay, so this is part two of um, the water video. Uh, Amy and I are actually driving on the way to the movies right now, but um, we just realized we left two things out. Uh, the first one is um, that if you think about our bodies as a uh, fish tank, so if I was standing up and um, I was a fish tank, it would be filled up to about here, right? Assuming we're about 70% water. Um, but just because you're, say, drinking a ton of water that's not mineralized and you're peeing, does not necessarily mean that you're replacing the water in your body. Your body could just be, you know, taking it and then like um, excreting it through your urine and, and not really replacing any of the water. So what you're left with is sort of a, a dirty fish tank. Um, is the analogy that you would use but um, whereas if you're drinking um, mineralized stuff or uh, adding sea salt or drinking fresh vegetable juices um, you can feel the difference which probably means you're you, there you're having a water exchange where your cells are actually taking it in um, the other thing or the last thing was that um, there's proof um, scientifically that the structure of water changes based on a lot of things in the environment um, the guy who, who's doing the research, his name is Dr. Emoto, um, E-M-O-T-O, e and you can actually Google that uh, and, and see the, the images of um, with the studies that he's done with water. He's, he actually did quite a few interesting things and noticed that uh, frozen water looks different under a microscope. Um, also, if, you're, if you say certain words, um, you know, like negative words versus positive words, the positive words actually cause the uh, the water molecules to restructure to a perfect snowflake shape whereas negative words actually do the opposite so that just gives you some more to kind of think about um, you know on a, on a deeper level again that, that not all water is created equal and, and um, energy is, is interesting for lack of a better term um, that's pretty much it and uh, we will post some more videos in the, the next couple weeks and we'll tell you how good the movie was. <laughs> <laughs>